I'm making an emergency instruction toilet paper replacement idea. I have these catalogs from a seed company. And, you know, they're the kind with um, very thin paper, kind of like newsprint, but, you know, with colors on it and a tiny bit thicker. Anyway, um, you could request these seed catalogs or other company catalogs in the mail. Or sometimes at grocery stores or other stores, they have these free, you know, booklet type advertisement things. Pick them up. So, I'm tearing a page out of it. Tearing a page out of it. I'm crumpling it up. I'm rubbing it together. And you'd be surprised at how soft it gets. So I'm thinking if I tear it in half and fold it, then it's like two ply bathroom tissue. See? So that's one page. Fold it over after you've softened it up. And it's like two ply toilet tissue. Maybe it's better. It seems stronger. The only thing is, don't put it in the toilet bowl. Put it in the trash can next to you. And if it's soiled, of course, you're going to have to empty the trash can more often. But if you squirt yourself with some kind of old shampoo bottle or frozen lemon juice bottle, um, then, you know, there shouldn't be much anything left on your skin. You know, keep some little water bottles, you know, little squirt bottles on the floor next to the toilet and squirt yourself, you know, front and back. Probably back first so that your last squirt can be in the more sensitive area to keep that area clean if you're female. Um, I still have toilet tissue, but I'm thinking about when I run out soon. And the only other thing I could think of is to cut up old clothes that I'm not using cut up an old sheet that I haven't used in a long time and, you know, cut little squares in it. And the only thing really different about this is you'll be emptying the trash can in the bathroom more often and taking it outside and, you know, putting it in the big trash can. What else can we do? I also had an idea that why do we need, you know, any toilet tissue at all if we you know, pour water over ourselves, the area is going to be wet but not soiled, so why can't the area just be a little damp? Maybe wear two pairs of underclothing so, you know, the dampness will be absorbed. Or, you know, most uh, ladies wear some kind of pad, panty liner anyway, so does it matter if it's a little damp with just water? Okay, that's my idea for the moment, and we have to be flexible, and it's good for us, you know, after a while we get an idea of, well, why should I worry about anything? We'll figure it out. That's it.